I like inventing things at sound check to pass the time. Buy merchandise! Framed posters! Once in a lifetime chance, ladies and gentlemen! Everybody, it's Jim with Reverb.com. I'm here with a terrifyingly good uh, guitar player, uh, artist. Uh, her name is Kaki King. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk with Thank us today. You. What, what's the story behind the guitar? Um, I know it's an ovation and she, it's yeah, white. It's, uh, <laughs> well, the original ovation um, is my signature model, mm -hmm. and um, they, the company painted it white for me. And everything else is pretty standard about it. The, I'm lucky that Ovation has a removable back on their plastic backed guitars. Mm -hmm. And um, so that allows me to get into the inside and I can I drill a couple holes into the side of the guitar so I can just easily bolt my guitar to the stand so it floats in the air. Like I was that. actually going to ask, you have all these electronics running around mm -hmm. all over the place and you got kind of like this like rigged up <laughs> thing know. with the, <laughs> the well, mic stand. Well, the truth is that um, there are two microphone stands that have been sawed off and they're light. I don't want to have to have it be delicate and perfect, like some thin metal rod, you know, forget right. it. Just the microphone stand worked really well. Yeah. Did, did the technology inform the pieces that you wrote, or did you write pieces with technology in mind? You Both. Know, Both? Yeah, and I think that I had to discover the technology and what it was capable of. I think I'm still barely scratched the surface of that, honestly. Um, for instance, there's a piece I think you were filming called Notes and Colors. So I play a note, and the guitar signal goes directly into a computer, and the computer translates that guitar signal into MIDI, and then the MIDI goes into the program that we mainly use for the projections called BDMX, mm -hmm. and BDMX says, okay, if you see MIDI note C3, you play a pink spiral. As well as the backdrop of that piece, I control with the low notes of my guitar. Wow. So that I can control the color change. The that back MIDI of the guitar stuff. is actually little bits. Do you right. know about the little yeah, bits? Yeah, little bits. That's all it is. So they're great. And I, I saw them and I thought, this is fantastic. And I just bought a bunch of the wires. So instead of having it in one long row, mm -hmm. I just brought bought the, the long wires and they kind of stream back and forth. So I just flip it on. I mean, I could easily bring a synth and play synth stuff, but I thought it just looked neat because like, it looks like it's coming from the guitar. Yeah, so. right. So the, the pedal board, obviously there was a looper. I saw a line six delay. There was a Stry maybe oh, is on there, Big Sky. Um, Moog, Mini Fugger, mm -hmm. uh, Ring, Mod, Ring Mod, which I have set, um, I have the expression pedal on that. Um, let's see, I got the Earthquaker device Rainbow Maker, which mm -hmm. is the, I yeah. mean, you know, it's funny when you get something and you're like, shit, this is just good for one thing. And then you realize that that's the one thing that you always needed. Right. Um, so that's got the expression pedal. I've got this cool thing called the Expressionator, which is a tiny box that will connect an expression pedal to three separate pedals. Oh, awesome. So you don't need three, you know, another another thing. I'm, I'm always trying to make things smaller and easier and more compact and less fuss. So I, uh, so that's um, that was my solution instead of having all kinds of pedals out there. I've got a RAT and an OCD pedal together and it just makes the best distortion. I just wanted one pedal to do everything. Yeah. That wasn't going to happen. Right. Those two, those two with that, you know, weird acoustic guitar is what it, what was necessary. Yeah, yeah. Do you consider yourself a guitar player? Do you consider yourself a visual artist? Do you consider yourself, I mean, I know that's <laughs> I a loaded. No, 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 I do. I don't consider myself a visual artist. I, I, I think first and foremost, the show is about the guitar. It's about showcasing it. Everything that happened in the creation of this piece happened in service of the instrument. And many of the pieces are ex explorations of what the guitar can do and what the guitar is made of and what how the guitar felt about its adolescence and, and you know there's a lot in there yeah. um and so even though i had a hand in making some of the visual elements and and was dreaming them up and you know i i, I wouldn't say that i'm i wouldn't take that away from a real visual artist for instance i think i'm still a guitar player and 
I think I say that just because it informs all of my choices and decisions. You guys should check out all of her records. This one particularly. Check out a little bit more at our blog. And um, thanks so much for talking with us. Thank you.